Civil Engineer is involved in all parts of the built environment, from design, construction, maintenance, and ranging from water to transport, to roads, to dams, to bridges, and everything in between. I think that's where a lot of the misconception comes in, because everyone just thinks of structural engineering when they think of civil engineering. But there's so much more that civil engineers do. There's geotechnical engineering, water engineering. It's quite a diverse field. The Department of Civil Engineering at Stellenbosch University is recognised for its excellence in undergraduate courses and postgraduate research. We've got three main divisions. So you've got your structures division, which covers materials, structural design, modelling of buildings. Then we've got our water division, covering pipes, ports and coastal, marine, hydraulic structures, dams, etc. And then also we have our geotechnical management and transport division, covering geotechnical, which is soils, project management, and all the, the items related to projects and construction management, and then transportation engineering, be it the design of roads, to design of transport systems. First year, you just do like a basic first year with all the other engineers. And then second year, third year and fourth year, it kind of narrows down into more of a solar direction. In third year, you start then with your design subjects, for instance, concrete design, you're doing structural modelling, etc. And then fourth year, all civil engineering subjects, but you also got your capstone modules, your research project and your design project. As well as the technical skills of like software development and all that jazz, we also do a bunch of soft skills that we have to learn with the team projects that we put in. The best thing that you can get in terms of soft skills, it's like walking around a faculty with just the future CEOs and problem solvers. So I think leadership for myself has been a very big thing that has been sharpened throughout my studies. Another thing that they really consider is making us understand the broader context of the world that we live in. So you're, you're not just designing a building that's going to appear in South Africa, you're designing for the context of South Africa and what the country needs at that point. The Stellenbosch Civil Department has excellent facilities. We really have fantastic laboratories, first of all, whether it be our structures, laboratory with large, heavy structures, materials labs, our water division where we can recreate rivers and dams. We also have excellent lecture venues. Civil engineers can do a wide range of jobs because we teach them many transferable skills. So you can be either a design engineer or you can work on a site or you can become a project manager, but also it opens up opportunities outside the field of civil engineering. I love problem solving, I love working with people and I love seeing how things can start from nothing and end up turning to be something as great and that's why I chose to do civil engineering at Stellenbosch. If this sounds like the right course for you, get in touch with the Department of Civil Engineering at Stellenbosch University.